Hi, Doug Stewart with IT Creations, and today we are at the Technicolor Experience Center for HP's exciting announcement on a new Z-Series VR backpack. This promises to be a new form factor for HP in the Z-Series workstations, and it should be quite exciting. Why don't you join us? Okay, once again, we're here at the uh, SIGGRAPH special event with HP, and this is Josh Peterson. And Josh, could you please give us a little explanation about that and tell us a little something about yourself as well? Sure, yeah. So my name is Josh Peterson, and I'm Vice President and Head of uh, Workstation Product Management uh, at HP. And uh, here at SIGGRAPH, we're really excited to be announcing the world's most powerful uh, wearable PC for VR. And uh, you know, this is our new HP ZVR backpack. And uh, this product is uh, is really exciting from various uh, various perspectives. Uh, you know, last year at SIGGRAPH, we introduced a, uh, a, a proof of concept backpack that uh, we provided to customers kind of on a case by case basis for them to try out. And uh, we learned a ton from understanding you know everywhere from the the software to the hardware solution to the battery life and everything else. And so we've got. Um, uh, you know, lots of new insights that we that we injected into this. And so, if you look at the HP ZVR backpack, it's really all centered around the PC or the, the VR engine itself, which is uh, this is actually one of the highest performing uh, you know PCs that you can find specifically for VR. Uh, first of all, first and for, for, first and foremost, it's got Intel's seventh generation core i7 CPU, uh, delivering you know full performance, high end quad core uh, application performance. Um, but we also coupled that. Uh, partnering with NVIDIA to deliver, you know, this is the first PC that's delivering the, eight, the NVIDIA uh, P5200 Quadro graphics, which is a high-end, you know, 1080 class graphics, but with twice the frame buffer of a 1080, all packaged in a, in a very, very small package that can clip onto a harness that's designed to be light and wearable, and so, uh, and not only light, but you can see that the, the VR backpack itself is is kind of um, on the mounting plate that provides an airflow between the user itself and the, the, the compute engine. So the compute engine that, that's going to get hot uh, with respect to the performance that it's delivering um, can, can also uh, you know, provide uh, a space so the user doesn't actually experience the heat. Um, secondly, we've, we've coupled it with uh, user replaceable, hot swappable uh, batteries. So even if you're in the ver uh, immersive experience, you can actually yourself actually swap out the batteries so that you can have kind of continuous VR operations. Um, now, do you do you need to have both of those batteries running at the same time for it to function, or yeah, do you just yeah? They, so they, they both batteries work together, but there's also a battery in the compute itself, and so the battery in the compute itself is kind of a think of it as a transient battery that helps you gives you time to swap out the batteries, but to get the full performance of the VR experience with the high-end GPU, high-end CPU, fast memory, fast storage you need to have both of those batteries working together to power this thing. I see. And the batteries, the, the life cycle of the battery will be you know, somewhere between you know, one, one and a half hours, depending on how um, heavy you're working this. Nice and so battery life. The, so we, but the product, the kit itself, comes with a uh, second set of batteries. And then the customers can, of course, buy more batteries if they want to really be able to continue to swap. So the, so the batteries themselves are fast charge, hot swappable batteries to deliver kind of a continuous VR experience that's completely untethered. So if you think about room scale VR or uh, at scale VR of large objects and be able to walk around those objects or interact with those objects, either from a, from a design perspective, from a training perspective, uh, design visualization. Think about uh, architects being able to walk their clients through their, their, the building um, and see the different lighting, different finishes, being able to tweak those and adjust those in real time. So um, we're really excited about this. We've, we've been, talked to a lot of customers, um, you know, 100, over 100 customers uh, specifically about this particular product. and, and um, there's just tremendous positive feedback from customers on this. So, would, so there's a dock for this also. Um, 
once you put it in the dock, does that actually, it's, it's going to run the graphics, it's going to run everything too. Right, You're that's still right. just running the monitor so, like, like yeah. your uh, mini Z2 G3 workstation. Absolutely. So if you think Very about similar. this, it's a, it's a great VR experience, but you're absolutely right. Um, the kit comes with a docking solution that basically sits on your desk, wired to your two 4K displays, your network, your cable, your mouse, your audio, and basically you can dock this in the system and move seamlessly from content creation and then back to content consumption. And so you think about the design process, the iterative design process, whether you're an engineer designing an automobile or you're an architect designing a big building, I can use this device as my workstation, to your point, um, on ISV certified applications with NVIDIA Quadro graphics, driving that experience on the design side, but then I can take that, undock it, throw it on the harness, and now I can walk through my design and it really, really feeds into that iterative design process. So really your 3D modeling apps and everything else are going to be generated directly from this along with your VR Absolutely. experience. Absolutely, yeah, you don't really have to have multiple systems and then you, you know, move from one system to the next. This is your design station, this is your VR authoring station, and then ultimately this is where you experience your VR with That's one very device. Impressive. And so right now it supports up to 16 gigabytes of memory. Uh, up to 32 gigabytes oh, of memory, yeah. Okay. So um, you can configure it with either 16 or 32 gigabytes. From a storage perspective, it's fast. NVMe SSDs, of course, um, ranging from 256 to 512 to one terabytes in storage. So um, one CPU option, one GPU option, but different configurations with respect to memory and storage. Okay. So you don't. This one doesn't support the uh, discrete video that uh, they were talking about with the Intel cards or chips, right? Yeah. So this this particular product is. Um, uh, really focused on the discrete graphics, so the NVIDIA discrete graphics. Uh, the, Intel, the Intel graphics is not really used for this particular application. Okay. Really, we're using the Intel engine to drive the CPU or the, drive the, the applications from a CPU perspective. Okay, so, fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks. So. It is an amazing product, honestly, and I want one of those so bad. But, uh, <laughs> so, Doug, it, start, it starts at $32.99 and it will be shipping in September, so we'll be happy to, uh, to ship you one. So. Okay, fantastic. Well, thank right. you thank so you, much yeah. for giving us the rundown. Yeah. Good, thank you.